Sertogenbosch, city in the south of the Netherlands, capital of the province of North Brabant. Population 136,000. There is a modern part, with the Court of Appeal and modern residential buildings. The provincial government building and other offices next to one of the country's busiest motorways. Of all journeys in the city, a third is made on a bicycle. Especially in the old city, a bicycle is already the best means of transport, as the ancient streets are far too narrow for motorized traffic. The city was home to the medieval painter Hieronymus Boss. His statue can be found on the central market square. The streets around the square are close to cars but full of life and people. City Hall can also be found on Market Square. It is here where the new plans for the future of cycling in the city were made. Three former villages and the old city form the core of the municipality of Seto Humbos. Residential areas were built between them. Industry and trade can be found here. The city is easily reached by national motorways that connect with a network of city arteries. The existing cycle network followed most of the arteries and had three types of cycle paths, but the categories were illogical and supposedly less important routes had most cyclists. The new plan is a finer maze of equal cycle paths. The preferred routes turned out to be the solitaire ones. People much rather cycle away from cars. So the city plans to create more routes away from arteries with heavy motorized traffic. That way there is also less conflict of types of traffic crossing. And where the main routes do meet, multi-level crossings can be built. Passovers and tunnels like this one will be built on some major junctions. Especially where the main cycle routes cross dual carriageway roads. The existing cycle paths there will be transformed, creating even more separation of the types of traffic. This way the routes become more attractive and even safer. Where traffic lights remain, the city wants to install waiting time indicators. That, and the maximum red time 40 seconds, should be reason for cyclists to better obey red lights. Many junctions are being changed to roundabouts that need no traffic lights. The plans for the new cycle infrastructure are for the long term, and all new infrastructure will include cycle paths from the beginning which includes multi-level solutions for crossings and cycle paths with very smooth surfaces. Where city streets are reconstructed because of maintenance works to sewerage, for example, a new street layout should be built according to the rules and regulations of the city cycle plan, which means at least 3.5 meters wide for bi-directional solitary cycle roads, and two and a half meters for parts in one direction on both sides of a road that have priority. Lesser wanted are bi-directional cycle parts next to arteries. If they are built, they have to be at least three and a half meters wide. If nothing else is possible on a main cycle route, an on-road cycle lane is acceptable only when it is at least two meters wide.
Parking is also part of the plans. Most houses in the Netherlands have parking possibilities at the back that can be reached by narrow corridors. Building regulations state that cycle parking must be available for apartments too. Mysterious doors next to apartment building entrances often give access to underground bicycle parking. Sometimes people need to be inventive to safely secure their bikes. Attaching it to the wall may be a last resort. There are regulations for minimal bicycle parking spaces with public buildings, mostly on street racks. Like these well used racks at the city's public library. But more central bicycle parking is needed. What seems a car parking building is really also a bicycle parking facility. It will be extended to two full floors, converting existing car parking to bicycle parking. In another street, the former post office building is converted into a bicycle parking building too. And also in other places, indoor guarded bicycle parking spaces will be created. Two and a half thousand extra spaces in total. The four and a half thousand existing spaces at the central railway station are not included in that number. Here, the railways take care of the facilities that include guarded parking and rental bikes. Bicycles are parked underground. The cycle parking area is a large and integral part of the station building, which dates from the late 1990s. All this to increase the modal share of cycling to 44%.